Welcome to the third episode of um, a Romanian Eater in Norway. My name is Maria and I'm coming to you from a sunny, sunny day in a small village um, close to Bergen. Welcome if you are new here. Welcome back if you decided that uh, this is worth it. Um, I think it has been like three weeks since the last time. Um, I didn't uh, manage to find time to make another episode. Also, the weather didn't help. It was miserable and I also had a very ugly cold that my son so generously gave it to me. And uh, then my migraine hit me and uh, yeah, I was not quite functional. But I am here today and um, it's the first sunny day that we have in the past almost two weeks. So let's take advantage. Um, a few words about me, if you are new here. As I've said, my name is Maria. I am 42 and I know it's strange for me repeating this, but it's something I need to get used. Uh, I'm coming from Romania, but two years ago we took the decision to move to Norway. Uh, me, my husband, my son and our dog, who is uh, for the moment sitting next to me on the floor. Yeah, um, it has been three crazy weeks with a lot of knitting, plenty of knitting. Well, when the weather, it is so miserable that you cannot even go for a small walk, then you have to find things to do inside the house, right? So um, normally if I am not knitting, then I am reading. But I've done both in the last three weeks. Um, let's get started, right? Um, I will start with what was a finished object until it wasn't. Oh, I have so many fixed, uh, not fixed, I'm sorry, uh, mixed uh, my English, mixed feelings about this project, um, quite disappointed, but I'm trying to not take everything in a negative way because if I'm doing this, then I will never wear this sweater. So this sweater didn't have the chance uh, yet for me to decide if this is what I want or not. No further ado, this is the Alvar Pullover, a pattern by Sari Nordlund. And I'm holding two strands together, both are Norwegian yarns. And uh, one is the uh, Rauma Lamb's Wool, and one strand is Sanesgarn Alpaca Lace. Um, last time, I was just about to start uh, my first sleeve. Well, I finished the sleeve, I wash it, let it dry and try it. And I didn't like it at all, especially the sleeves. So this is meant to be a drop shoulder, but I like to make jokes about it and say that this is a drop half sleeve. <laughs> Because this part, this here, it comes halfway through my upper arm. So it, it comes like here. And after washing, I was surprised how much the sleeve grew in length. So my sleeves were like 10 centimeters longer than before blocking. The sleeve is meant to be up 
to your tip fingers. Mine was like this. Plus, in the pattern, there is no shaping for the sleeves. However, before starting the cuff, you will decrease a lot of stitches in a row. Like in my case, for my size was like 20 and something stitches. This will be like a quarter of the total number of stitches. And this, it is supposed to create a balloon shape of the sleeve. I don't know why I don't realize this while working the sleeves. So it should look like this. When you see it like this, it's nothing. When you wear it, I don't like it. Um, a good thing is that uh, this way I convince myself that balloon sleeves are not my thing. They are cute, but not my thing. Also, the fact that you have so much texture, I mean, you have only texture, it's weird. <laughs> it's not looking quite like a balloon sleeve. And overall, the sleeve was too wide. The circumference was too big for my preference. Um, I'm not sure also about the length of the sweater, but as I've said, this sweater did not have yet a chance to be wear, so I need to wear it with different trousers or jeans to, I don't know, decide with which one it goes uh, well. However, after deciding that the sleeves are not my thing and if I don't do something, I will never wear this sweater. And the thought of unravel unraveling all the project and to find something else to make with this yarn was again, yeah, I was not in that mode. So, I measured how long I would like to have the sleeve. I unraveled the sleeve. Until here. So I, I kept this from the picking up stitches here, like five centimeters. And then I decreased every three round until a number of stitches that was close to the number of stitches that the cuff should have. Um, it looks a little bit weird, but I want you to see the differences. Let me put it one next to each other and I will try to show you the difference between the sleeves. And yes, this that looks so tiny is actually the one that fits me. This, look how different. And this is not, um, how do you say, a fit on my arm. There is still a lot of positive ease in the sleeve. And I think it will gain more with reblocking. Um, my hair is everywhere. Uh, so yeah. This is the major modification I am doing to this sweater because, you know, this was a project that I really wanted and I want to discuss something. I don't know if you noticed. Sometimes it's very difficult to figure out how a sweater will actually look on you because of the pictures that the designer took. So if you go to the pictures of this pattern, the pictures of the designers, maybe I didn't notice, but I could swear that in those pictures, I didn't sew these sleeves because of the position of the hand, of the body. So somehow I felt that that was hide from me. 
Of course, I could have gone on Ravelry and see projects with from different knitters for this pattern. Mm, but a Ravelry really is not my thing. I I normally I am a very I have a lot of patience. I'm raising an autistic child, so but when it comes to Ravelry, it's just I feel like I'm losing time, although it's not true because you can find very useful information and uh, this way you are avoiding uh, uh, problems with a pattern and frustration and things like that. Well, I didn't do this, but I wish, I just wish that some designers will show more properly, uh, properly the sweater in the pictures and not hiding the huge, uh, um, how do you say, um, positive ease, uh, the width of the sleeves, the length of the sleeves, because many of them, they are arranging, I don't know, the, the garment in a way that will look um, cool in the pictures. <laughs> that will sell the pattern so yeah this was what happening with this project and i finished this more than a year uh, not a year sorry more than a week ago but i really had a lack of motivation to go back to this project because i felt that it will keep me um it will restrain me from making progress with my other beautiful projects. Um, now I only have to work like, I think I cal calculated like eight rows in one by one ribbing and then to make the tubular bind off and then to unravel this one too and uh, work the same. And hopefully, I will have a sweater that uh, it will be what I dreamed to be and uh, wearable. Um, I could have gone down a size in the pattern, but the way this uh, pullover is 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 shaped, um, it would have not looked good on my body. Um, luckily, I have a leftover yarn. I have, I think, one, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, one full ball of each uh, thread I've used. And if, if the length, um, I will consider that it, it isn't what I like, um, I might go back, unravel the hem, add, I don't know, a quarter or half of the chart, and then making the ribbing again. For the sleeves, I worked according to the pattern, according to the length of the pattern, the stitches of the pattern, and I, um, I had to make like three repeats of the chart. Now, with the changes I'm making, I actually have two repeats of the chart and the first uh, section here from the third repeat. So I took out quite a lot, many, many rows. I don't remember exactly, but I think the chart is like 40 and something rows. Yeah. So... I hope next time I will make um, an episode um, to not talk anymore about this project because I feel I had enough. Um, I tried the new sleeve and it looks a little bit awkward because this part here, actually it's, it's around here that my shoulders end. And all this is falling on the um, arm. Now, with this sleeve like this, it's like 
when you see it, it's like, oh my God, why she uh, she made the, the sleeves so short? But it's not. It's not because my armpit, it's somewhere here. Yeah. I don't like to give negatives um, opinions about patterns because I really, really appreciate the work that um, the designers put in uh, every pattern. And at the same time, I am very aware that these um, feelings I have with this sweater that something is wrong with, with it, uh, the way it's constructed, um, maybe it's just me, maybe for other knitters it works perfectly, maybe for other knitters it is what they want, but not for me. So, yeah, um, quite disappointed I had to go back, but at the same time I had to go back because otherwise I won't ever wear this sweater. Yeah, so I think that's it with it. And I hope this is the last time I'm talking about this project because I feel like I'm repeating myself and I don't want uh, this uh, content to be something uh, boring for you. Okay, I will leave it there. I hope it won't fall. Okay, uh, next project I have on my needles. It is something that I talk about it. Um, I have a lot of uh, yarn here because I was just preparing to make the tubular bind off. I've made the setup rows for the tubular bind off but I will try to show you. So this is the porcelain sweater by Bye bye, Lem, Lem so Samso, I think I will put it on the screen. Um, I want to finish this today to make the tubular bind off. I want to make the the collar, and um, maybe starting the first sleeve. Uh, I had this on hold for like a week because I ran out of yarn and yesterday I went to the um, store where I got the yarn first time and I got more. Um, and I had to go to another store that holds uh, Isair yarns to buy more contrasting color because I'm not sure uh, what I have left, it will be enough for both sleeves. So this is what I have left. This is Marilyn from Isayel, um, held double. Of course, I didn't find uh, the color. They don't um, carry the color for the moment in stock. And I got some alpaca from Isayel, which Fortunately, and this is one thing I really appreciate about Isayer, is keeping the colors uh, no matter the dialog. And this is very rare, in my opinion. Uh, so I will hold, um, I will uh, um, use this um, alpaca one, alpaca lace, uh, double. Uh, in case this is not enough. Also, I was thinking to not have differences because this is softer, uh, this is more rigid because it contains linen also, among others. Uh, so I'm thinking to make, so the sleeves of uh, this sweater uh, has, I think, uh, two, um color work charts one for the upper arm and one for the rest of the arm so i might use this for the upper arm in each side uh, for each sleeve and this for the bottom 
and this way it won't feel different on each sleeve. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, but I'm making the size 3XL and I think it will turn out a little bit too um, big. I think I will have a lot of positive views, but there is no chance for me to go back to Unravel and to start this project again. And I don't think it will be uh, much bigger than the sweater number 18 that I have from my favorite things knitwear. I don't think it will be bigger than um, my English sweater by Petit Knit, so I think I will be okay. I also added some length. Uh, I added like extra three centimeters here because it was too cropped for me. Um, I hope with blocking will uh, length a little more even. But I think it will be very, very nice to have here uh, this uh, sweater for the next season. Although it's so strange to say this because I am still wearing my wool sweaters, even if it is the end of March. Oh, I didn't say today is Sunday. Um, but I don't know. Let me think. So, oh my God, I forgot. It's 20 and something. Yeah, I'm sorry. I digress. Uh, okay, so for the, I will talk about the needles I'm using. Uh, for the um, main color work, main color part of the sweater, I'm using 3.5, and for the color work, I'm going up to four millimeter needles. Now, when I will make the sleeves for the um, main color part, I will go up from 3.5 to 3.75 because I usually need. Uh, very tight, um, small circumferences. So I need to go up um, half needle size usually. Yeah, so I hope I will make uh, progress. Um, the yarn I am using for this sweater, and I have it here, and I can show you. It's a it's the first time I'm using this yarn, this combo, and I like it. I was thinking. Uh, the other day that I would love to make uh, something else with this combo. So this is um, Sarhach by Permin. Uh, this is 50% merino wool and 50% Shetland wool. Um, yeah, and it's made in Turkey, but um, um, the brand that sells it, it's by Permin. And this is um, Sunnes Garden Alpaca Lace. This is 400 meters and uh, 50 grams. And this is 50 grams and 270 meters. So it's, it's, um, it's a quite nice yarn. I love it. Um, I forgot to search on the website to see if they um, if they have more colors uh, because in the store where I got this yarn there was only natural colors um, black gray uh, beige and this um, cream uh, I don't know if they um, have this yarn in a different color but I will check because if uh, they have it. I will uh, want to try more colors and it is a very affordable yarn. <laughs> oh, I have my uh, 
be here. Um, <laughs> so I paid for three of these, 165 kroner. Mm, this will be like five euro per hank, per, per 50 grams. 5 euro maybe 5 and a little bit so I, I really think it's affordable I don't know how it will hold I don't know um, if it will grow a lot on washing I will tell you the next time uh, after I'm finishing the porcelain sweater and wash it and block it yeah so this is my uh, second work in progress and I didn't tell you what I am wearing. Uh, this is a sweater that I've started last summer, a summer of 2023, but I knew it will take me a lot of time to make it, mainly because back then I was still, uh, I was still knitting for photographers. Um, and I remember, I, I think I started this in July, but at the beginning of August, I uh, already started to knit for Christmas, to make Christmas outfits. And I knew that the next month will be full with Christmas outfits. So I was um, back and forth with this project. Whenever I needed uh, free time from baby knitting, I was... Um, working on this but i actually finished this in december uh, right before uh new year so this is um the desert spring sweater by jessica mcdonald and i've used uh sunless garn sunday and three millimeter needles and I love it for so so many reasons first of all this is my only hand knit sweater that is not thick it's light and I love it uh, also because sun is gone Sunday it is such a nice yarn uh to make garments with and it is so soft close to the skin um but it was a lot of work if i remember correctly i think i've made size seven or maybe size eight i have to say that i uh really like the fit of uh, jessica mcdonald uh, knitting patterns um I don't know about the smallest uh, sizes. I don't know how they fit, but I can tell you that for my size, I, uh, I'm always happy. This is my um, second knitting pattern that I made uh, from this designer and uh, definitely will not be the, the last one. Um, I've made some modifications, so um of course uh, this is not made in the yarn that the pattern suggests because i yeah it was uh i think a yarn from usa and it was too expensive for me um but this was quite affordable uh usually i'm buying sign sun garn from um a yarn store that uh it is um in a shopping center in the town next to my village and I am in the um, uh, store um, club, we call it, they call it. So I started two years ago when I moved here to buy from the store. They asked me if I want to be registered in the club and uh, to get promotion and things like that, of course, I've said. Uh, but actually, according to my purchases, I went from 5% off of everything I'm buying from them to 50% off, 15, sorry, 15% off. So now whenever I go and buy a quantity sweater uh, of yarn from them, 
uh, I have 50% off and this is wonderful. And I remember that for this sweater, um, I think I needed almost eight balls of yarn. And um, the normal price for this yarn will be like uh, seven euro. So this will be like 60, uh, six euro, but minus 50%. So that was a very affordable, this is a very affordable sweater. I wear this a lot. I wear this at least once a week and it holds up very well. Um, I don't have a problem with peeling yet. Um, yeah, and it, it feels so silky, so soft. So yeah, I, uh, I know for sure that in the future, I, um, I have in plan to make more this uh, type of light sweaters because they are very good in a wardrobe. Um, there are days like this, like today, with a little bit of sun, but still not um, that um, warm to wear t-shirt, uh, but too warm to wear this. So this is a perfect transition in between. I think I have a fiber. Yeah. Um, the modification I've made for this was for the neckline she recommends to work with 2.5 but i've worked with two millimeters uh, i've done a tubular uh, cast on i've you have short rows at the the back after the neckline and i added like four extra short rows and i also but this is in the pattern, yeah. You have also short rows um, before separating the sleeve stitches from the body stitches, which makes it very, very um, well uh, fitting. So it's not raising up. Um, the collar is not wide. And it, it holds up very well because it's very sturdy. Um, using uh, for my choice of using two millimeter needles um i did not make other modifications i work according to the pattern the length of the sleeves i like the sleeves uh, this is my my type of sleeve i love this fit uh, i love this uh, the, how um, they are not fitted but they are not wide uh, yeah i love it um i think that's it i will link the pattern below i will link the yarn so you can see it i don't think there is the color well i won't talk about it i was in pink mode um it's a dusty pink i'm not sure it's my color maybe it's too close to my skin color but I'm wearing it anyway. Okay. Um, so one, two, I have an almost finished object that I didn't talk about it because it wasn't ca a cast on or, or a work in progress last episode. Um, before that, I, I hope I'm making sense talking about this project because I'm not feeling well. I will see what this episode look and if I'm not happy with it, I might not upload it. But let's let's hope it's okay. So before showing you my next project, I want to show you my dress that has arrived three days ago. Hold on. All done because I have it here. I won't wear it <laughs> for the moment, but I can show you my beautiful dress has arrived. This is, uh, I think, Midi Mama is called, and it is um, 
it it is passing a little bit uh, over my knee knees yeah um it fits very well i think i uh, yeah i've made a reel for instagram and i will um i hope to remember to insert it here to see a little bit it fits very well and uh, yeah i'm so happy the quality um the way it's made i love everything about it the color and i didn't knew it has it also has pockets this is so nice yeah it's so comfortable and i don't know it gives me just makes me happy knowing that i have this and i can wear it um and i cannot wait for april uh which will be next week you right um uh, because i want to order my second one i'm so happy with how it's made the quality the linen it is um, quite heavy it's a heavy linen and i love it the fit it is wonderful the length is perfect and it will be very hard to decide the next color one thing i appreciate i think they do this of course with all the customers there will be a little crinkle here oh and also they put in the package this <laughs> so nice um but they send me all the material uh, color samples that they can make and oh my god so many beautiful beautiful colors but for the moment i'm gravitating towards this heavy linen they also have light linen and i'm sure it's wonderful and i'm debating what color i should choose for my next one hold on a second to show you what i have in mind oh. so i would also love a dress where are you oh okay in these stripes i think it's wonderful i will love it but i also like this with pink i don't know what i have with pink maybe it's my color it's not a problem right um but i also like this is the heavy linen i like oh my god look at this one so this is red wood i love this red wood but i also love this heavy toast and i also love um where is it i love this so much cinnamon creamy brown and of course dusty rose oh <laughs> it will be extremely difficult to choose one but um yeah and this olive too they all um are so beautiful and i also find on instagram a promoter of them so i will use the that um influencer or i don't know how you call it because i will have a 10 percent off the shipping was great i did not have any problems with it it actually came a little bit earlier than i expected um and that is so nice and of course now i am in cardigan modes because i really want uh, to have um cardigans for this dress and the next ones and the two ones that i already have in my wardrobe uh, let me just leave this aside and um now um while making this 
porcelain sweater and um, the Alvar pullover by Sari Nordlund. I thought, okay, maybe I should um, stop making uh, thick sweaters because the spring it will finally come here too in Norway. Um, and I think I would like to make a couple of uh, sweaters until fall, light sweaters. Well, a couple, maybe two sweaters, another two. But what I really, really, really want to do is more cardigans. So I love all my sweaters, but I find that cardigans are really perfect in my wardrobe. Uh, I can take them with jeans and over a t-shirt and if it is too warm uh, over the day I can take them off. Um, I can wear them over a dress, I can wear them over leggings, I can wear them under a um, winter coat, uh, I can, yeah, so many possibilities. And in my wardrobe I have three cardigans but they are not good for dresses because they are too long and for this type of dress I need more cropped cardigans and of course I almost finished my first one and I will try to show you without losing my stitches because I'm doing the um, double knitted bottom band but I will try to show you so this my friends it is the Copenhagen Copenhagen uh, cardigan by Petit Knit I almost finished and I know it seems a uh, small but actually it hits my uh, hip which will be perfect for the dress now uh, I, oh my God, I've made a lot of, how do you say, abracadabra, which is pattern. Um, of course, I did not use the recommended yarn. The yarn I am using, it is Hilles Vogue Tinde. This is a Norwegian producer. And uh, I knew I want to make this cardigan using Hilles Vogue yarn. Uh, lately, I've made a lot with Sunless Garn, with Rauma, but I think it was time for Hilles Vogue. I really love to buy Norwegian yarns. It's my way to support the, <laughs> um, the producers, the farmers, you know, because this is Norwegian, 100% Norwegian wool. Uh, actually, it is uh, Norsk Pensul Garn, Pensul Garn. Um, so it's 100% Norwegian wool. Um, this yarn, Tinde, is coming in these hanks of 100 grams and you have 260 meters per 100 grams. Uh, this costs like, I think around maybe 15 euros per 100 gram. And of course I overbuy this yarn. I took uh, seven hunks. I have these two and I have this which I am so sorry I caked. I've learned a very important lesson. Um, and another lesson is to take the receipt from the store when you're buying yarn. Now, what I'm trying to do is with this to go to the store and see if I can exchange them with another yarn. It is a problem that I don't have the receipt, but I am in the club and my hope is that they can see in the system what I got last time. 
If not, I will end up with 300 grams that I don't know what to do and they will probably will sit in my closet here waiting for me to have an idea. Of course, I'm not interested to work with this color since I finished, I almost finished my project, maybe in the future, but I don't like to have yarn that will sit in my stash for nothing. Uh, so yeah, I got seven of this. I actually got, this is strange, I actually got the meatridge the pattern recommends. And although my cardigan, it is shorter than the pattern recommends for my size, even if I would have followed the pattern accordingly, um, exactly, um, I will still have more than 100 uh, gram of yarn left. So I don't know what happened. I know this is um, a pattern that a petite need to um, uh, come back to it because um, there were not too many sizes. It's a pattern that she published many years ago. I don't know if it is a mistake or I don't know. The fact is that for my size, in the pattern, there is more yarn that you really need. Yeah. Now, about the abracadabra. <laughs> so, this pattern, I think it calls for uh, four millimeter needles and a gauge of... God, I don't remember. A gauge of 21 stitches, maybe? This is a 22 stitches yarn gauge with 3.5 millimeter and 24 stitches with 4 millimeter needle. What I have done is, oh my God, I don't even know how to explain this. First of all, instead of four millimeter needles, I've used this interchangeable. And as you can clearly see, there is a huge difference because this is 3.25 millimeter. And this, hold on, <laughs> this is 2.75 millimeter. Now, with the bigger one, I was working the um, right side rows, the knit stitches. With the smallest, I was working the wrong side rows, the purl stitches. This is how I met Gage. And also, I did not have to worry for my purl rows being looser than my knit rows and this way from time to time having those um, how do you say inconsistent uh, fabric you know um, and it worked for me perfectly now for the sleeves I've used 3.5 because I'm a tight knitter with small circumferences technically and according to the chest measurements, I've started size seven. However, it's not the first time that happens to me. I uh, find that with the raglan patterns from Petit Knit, the, um, this part, here until underarm it is too big so i started with size seven i increased i increased night and uh, no i cast on less with 12 stitches 
because in the pattern you are making the bottom band, bottom band um, along with the body but I did not want to make like this the bottom band because I remember I saw one time I think at Inga Knitting Tradition podcast she she has done um, a long time ago this cardigan and she was saying that the bottom band was rolling and I did not want that plus I really think that the double knitted bottom, bottom band it will um, hold the shape better in time so I cast on with less 12 stitches uh, you have six on one side and six on one side that you are working in one by one ribbing now of course I stopped earlier with the increases for the raglan and I am so happy for following my knitting instincts uh, for following my experience knitting uh, also even if I'm not an expert knitter, um, I still have a lot of knowledge. Um, now, I actually, <clears throat> sorry, I need a little bit of water. I started making size seven. By the time I had to split the stitches for the sleeves my number of stitches for the sleeves were in between size five and six my number of stitches for the body were um for the size six yeah i've i I've, I've done a lot of uh, improvisation how do you say with this pattern I try this on and it is how I want it and I am so happy so this is a pattern that it doesn't have too much positive ease and this is what I wanted um, the sleeves are bracelet sleeves like this um, I think it will uh, I don't think it will grow but it, yeah it will sit better there is one thing I'm regretting, not making the decreases um, faster than the pattern says. So you have to decrease every number of rows. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, realize that I should decrease on every three row, third row. Um, the sleeves are not like this, are a little bit wider, but I will uh, leave it like this for the moment. So the only thing I need to do, as you can see, I'm working on the first bottom band. I already have one, two, three, four button holes. And then I need to pick up stitches for um the other one and then i need to make the pockets because this pattern has pockets and uh, i like how it looks with pockets and i want to have pockets <laughs> yeah so this was so fast to do it took me two weeks of course in the meantime i made other things I've been working on other projects too I think not even two weeks they are not yet two weeks but yeah I love it um, and the color I have nothing in my wardrobe in this color and I think this will go very well with my dress or other dress um, and it will be perfect for the cold mornings, but yet not mornings where you can wear a coat. So this will be perfect and I'm quite happy. I didn't make this uh, to 
close it. I like to wear them open, but I still, I will put buttons just in case. Yeah, I love it. And about this yarn, I'm not gonna lie. This is um, at the first touch, let's say like this. At the first touch, this is a rustic yarn. I mean, yeah, it, it is rustic. However, the more you work with it, the less itchy it feels. And I have an old cardigan made with this yarn, something I drafted myself and it's totally wrong, but I wear it every day in the house. And after washing and wearing, the fabric becomes softer and softer and so soft, but at the same time, you know you are wearing wool. I mean, it's not itchy, but it, there is a prickle there that reminds you that this is wool, definitely wool. So also this is a very, um, how do you say, a yarn that holds very well over the years because I'm making these garments, hoping that I will wear them for many years, right? So yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. And uh, while making this cardigan, I saw a post from somebody I am following. Um, I don't think I uh, stitch witchcraft, I think it is. So she and I was reading her post because I love it. She posted a cardigan she was working on in a beautiful color, um, something that she hand dyed. Yeah, wonderful. And uh, she was saying that she is hosting a make along that is called hashtag Year of the Cardigan Mall. So if you want to join, um, there are not prices or things like that. And um, it's just maybe, let's say, in case you need a motivation to make more cardigans, because I think we tend to make sweaters, 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 but also cardigans, they are so beautiful and so practical. And so, yeah, I need more of them in my wardrobe. Yeah, so I joined her uh, make along and um, I'm so happy because I'm focused on what cardigans I would love to make until the end of the year. Of course, I won't be able to make everything I have in my mind list, but this is not about numbers. This is about making something that I like. And if I manage to make uh, four until the end of the year, it's perfect. If I manage to make eight, it's perfect. It doesn't matter the number. And this is my first entry for the mall. And I'm so happy I almost finished it. Once I will block it, wash it, block it. Uh, I hope I will um, have luck with the sunny days and maybe my husband will make take me some pictures with my new dress and cardigan. Yeah, I think I have not too many things to say about it. I have another work in progress to show you, another cardigan. And I have another project that I will cast on, if not today, probably tomorrow. Uh, I will knit a lot the next week because we are again in a school break. This is um, the Easter holiday. So next week and uh, the Monday after the next week, we are at home, all the schools. And uh, I will take advantage and uh, make progress on my knitting. Uh, hopefully the weather will be at least for a few days, beautiful. 
I have a lot of flowers to plant in the front of the house and uh, I will love to sit outside in the garden to me. This was my favorite thing to do in the past two summers, sit outside and knit. Yeah, so my next work in progress, it is a precious, precious one. And I have mixed feelings because on one hand, I want to have it ready like yesterday to wear it, it's that beautiful. On the other hand, I don't want to finish this too soon because it is so wonderful to work at this project. This is a past pastoral, pastoral, how do you pronounce, sweater by, I forgot, Sarah, hold on, hold on, I have it here. Sarah, oh, I'm sorry to forget the name. Yeah, Sarah Solomon. I think she's into the wool on the Instagram. I will link her pattern below. And I talk about it. I will put a picture here. And look how wonderful is this. Oh my God. Um, I was a little bit nervous. I don't remember to have ever made a project like this with so many little cables and details. And I was uh, really doubting that, um, doubting that I will be, it, it's, it's silly <laughs> that I will be able to understand the pattern, but the reality is that it's more easy than it looks. So you only work on this, these cables, these braids are changing on every row, but the rest of it, it's the same. So that makes it much easier. So this is my first sleeve. Um, I am, I have to increase two more times to reach the number of stitches the pattern uh, says for my size. I'm making, um, I think it's size five, 47 uh, inch bust. And then I need to continue. And once I reach the length of the recommended, the length of the sleeve recommended in the pattern, I will make the saddle. And then I will start um, second sleeve and I'm sure the second one it will take me less time because now I know what to expect. Uh, initially I wanted to start with the back because it's the biggest piece but then I said no I will follow the pattern to understand it properly. What if there is something like an information, the pattern starts with the sleeve. What if I have some information on the sleeves related with the ba the back panel and I miss it? So yeah, I love it. I love it. And now I am on a stage where I don't need to look in the chart on the wrong side rows, how to work them. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very nice. I love this. And there is a, um, a few cables, but at the same time you have lace. So it's a very beautiful uh, combo between uh, these. So yeah, I love this texture. Um, the yarn I am using, it's again, just a second, I have too many things here into little space. Yeah, I have it here. Okay, so again, I'm using Sara by Permin, the 50% merino wool and the 50% Shetland wool together with alpaca lace. This is a 3.5 millimeter pattern. You need by pieces, obviously, and then sew them together. And yeah, 
I am in love with this pattern and I I so much like what I saw on the on the designer website. She has so many beautiful patterns. Um I think I don't have too much for the moment to say for this. Uh, I am waiting to finish my Oliver Plover, my second sleeve, to take it out of my mind and uh, to finish the Copenhagen um, cardigan. Uh, and then I will make more progress on my porcelain sweater and I can finally continue with this because I enjoy so much making this. And my next cast on, of course, this is my second entry for the year of the cardigan make along. And I will have a third entry. And it's a pattern from the same designer. And it is so beautiful, classy, feminine stamp. I love it. So it is called, I will uh, put pictures here. I think Wild Almond. I hope I'm not mistaken. And yesterday I got the yarn for this project. And I choose this yarn only because it was 25% off at the store uh, that holds this yarn because otherwise it will be a little bit pricey for me but let me show you okay so this is Isayer Jensen 100% um, wool I love this color so there were not many colors left but I was I don't know this color spoke to me the moment I saw it. I have nothing in this color in my wardrobe, nothing at all. So this will be very nice to have it. I already cake one uh, hank and I didn't knew actually, so this is 100 grams and 250 meters. And I didn't realize that actually in this, you have two separate, Hanks. So you have the 50 grams and 50 grams separated. <laughs> I didn't knew. I didn't understood why there are four uh, knots, you know, and then just separated by itself. And I realized, oh, okay, so you have two in one. Yeah. I love this color. This rust brownish yeah it's beautiful it's very very beautiful and the pattern has like um a crop length with three cord sleeves and a hip length with bracelet sleeves and the lace motif also on the sleeves so i'm thinking to do the length sleeves and somewhere in between the cropped and the hip length yeah i got seven of this so 700 grams i know i will have enough yarn and i hope so at least <laughs> oh I'm sorry um, god what embarrassing it was this I'm sorry excuse me um, yeah I'm happy it's my first time working with Jensen uh, I would say it is similar to the um, Hilles Vogue it is oh my god uh, it is also to ply. However, this is pencil yarn and it's more shiny. It looks more, and I think a little bit more hairy. 
and a little bit more rustic. This is also rustic, but not like this one. So this is softer. And I guess it will become softer with washing. I like it so much. I really like it. I'm so excited with, with this project. And um, um, I'm so excited of making what I want, you know. Uh, I don't... Toto. My dog is licking the paws. Um, I don't have a palette color yet. Um, but I, I always been attracted by earthy tones. And um, at some point I said to myself, okay, maybe I should need not that many colors because it seems a little bit chaotic. But then I realized that I am not, I don't like all my sweaters and cardigans to have them in cream, beige, gray, brown, or something like that. They are beautiful. Um, I know uh, some uh, podcasters uh, here on YouTube using this um, palette color in their wardrobe and it looks so beautiful but it's not me and um, yeah I think knitting takes so much time um, it is so expensive um, that if I am wasting so much time in building my own hand-knit wardrobe, at least <coughs> I want to enjoy the colors that they speak to me, you know. And um, <coughs> I was also thinking that sometimes, for myself at least, for me at least, Instagram can be overwhelming. Um, I don't know the algorithm of Instagram, but I think it's the same with Facebook. Everything, if I'm trying to search something, all the field is full with boxy sweaters, oversized sweaters, super oversized sweaters. All the projects are done with mohair, hold, held with another fiber. Expensive, 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 and more and more expensive. And some people promoting some company, some yarn producers, which I understand they, it's something that it has to be done. But at the same time, I think um, this trend is, um, how do you explain this? What is the word in English? It's hiding, for me at least, other designers that might not be so big or not big, well known in the knitting community or in Instagram community or YouTube community, you know, like Petit Knit or my favorite knitwear designer or there are a couple more. And then there are the small designers, not so well known in the knitting community. And I would love to discover them too. That doesn't mean I won't need something from Petite Meat or I, I really admire these people and their creativity and uh, yeah, of course. But at the same time, I would really love to have in my wardrobe 
um, clothes that fit me more properly. Uh, not clothes with 30 centimeters positive ease because this is the trend. If I'm choosing to make something with 30 centimeters of positive ease, it's because that's what, I, that's what I feel I need in this moment, not because this is the trend. I don't know if this makes sense. It does for me, I hope for you too. Um, also, I don't like to banish designers for not being size inclusive on their patterns. Um, I wish that every knitter be able to do what patterns he likes in his size. But at the same time, I know that this is not yet possible for everybody. So instead of shaming designers and uh, um, encouraging people of not buying their patterns, this is crazy for me, not something I accept, uh, just because they don't have size inclusivity. With this, boxy fit sweaters. I don't necessarily, in my opinion, think they need to, to make it in eight, ten sizes because the, 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 the positive is, is that big that, uh, I don't know, for size two, it's something that can be made of somebody with, with uh, I don't know, uh, 37 uh, inches bust up to 40 and something bust. So why ashamed them? Why not encouraging them to make more sizes, you know, to update the patterns with more sizes? And um, yeah, this is not something I... Uh, and, and sometimes I'm trying to stay away of this, uh, um, how do you say, conflict, because it is, at some point, it's becoming a conflict with pro and not so pro opinions. Yeah, I think um, we need, in my opinion, we need to remember why we are needing. We need because we like. We need because um, we want more handmade uh, garments in our wardrobe. Uh, maybe we need because we need help with our mental health and knitting. Uh, it is uh, a great companion. Uh, maybe we are knitting because we are selling the items and trying to make an income for, for our family or we just need because we enjoy this craft so so much and we enjoy bringing to life what other people are creating you know ideas that they are creating so I think this is the most important thing and I wish people will understand more this uh, this is not a competition um, and I wish uh, and I hope it is not a competition between designers although I can understand some of them they are really frustrating because we get influenced so easy so I think we live times where a designer can become so big in so less time uh, with one or two of patterns but maybe we should have uh, maybe we should remember that these designers started from something from other patterns they got inspired by other patterns they got inspired by other designers so why banish some and uh, promoting others 
if this makes sense i don't know yeah this is was this was just my 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 reflection i refuse to banish uh people that are creating uh, things that we so much enjoy making them maybe we should encourage them to yeah transform their creations in something better and better and better and better i think this is all for today i will have to check what i have done here now i think i need to wrap this up because my dog is crying and i think he needs to go out to make his needs um thank you so much for watching uh thank you so so much if you stayed until the end um please remember if you want to help a channel and if you like the content give a like uh, to the video leave a comment if you have time and if you want because this is the algorithm of the youtube the videos that maybe people like but they don't actually give a like or leave a comment they are not seen in the feed thank you so much if you have questions if there is something i forgot please write me in the comments and i will see you next time bye bye